a giggle. <laughs> it's pretty cold over here in the UK. Um, it's a lot colder in a lot in the world. Um, but uh, <laughs> this is the water I normally rinse my airbrush out with, and um, it's frozen. <laughs> Dear. Okay, so here. I'm just doing, going over it a bit with a pencil. Um, I've traced it down roughly, but the lines are a bit light, so I'll go back over it with a regular pencil. Uh, there's some Ultra Mask going on it. <coughs> Great product. I'm just cutting out all the chrome bits that I'm going to be painting. Like so. And the little helmet that's flying off up the top there. Okay, starting with like a light sky blue, uh, reduced 50/50 uh, with Auto Air 4011 reducer. And of course, the more paint you lay down, the darker the blue. I really need to get a tripod for my camera to stop it moving like that, don't I? <laughs> Added a couple of drops of black to the mix to make it a little bit darker there. Now we're going in with like an earthy brown. Again, the um, the more paint you lay down, the thicker it goes. So the lighter areas there are like a light dusting and uh, the darker little parts are just more paint, basically. Uh, then going over with like a burnt umber which is a really 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 dark brown and I'm checking my emails <laughs> good thing about keeping the reference picture taped to the guitar if you need to go back for reference or whatever like I did there for the the shape of the brown part it's uh, it's easy to get it in the right place uh, so that's the browns done uh, that's just jet black Again, reduced 50/50 with Auto Air 4011 reducer. Uh, going over the the little parts on those knives slightly. Then we've got a little bit of white to highlight little areas again, and we're going in with some Auto Air transparent yellow there. Uh, that was just straight out the bottle as it comes. Uh, it's quite powerful though, so be careful that paint uh, the yellow. So there you go. We've done the yellows on the edge of the blacks there. Uh, now I've got some heavily reduced black for the outlines here. Um, it's uh, what did I use? It's ETAC carbon black, um, but it's reduced. If I remember rightly, I used five drops of black paint to ten drops of the Auto Air reducer again, so it's quite heavily reduced. Um, if I was doing much finer details I would reduce it even further but you do have to watch out for it uh, destroying the pigments of your paint and spidering and loads of stuff. Um, strap my wrist up because I have RSI and it was minging that day. <laughs> Still going around with the black. Lots of black in this. Lots of fine line work. Okay, that's that done. What have we got now? Going in with some white, doing the edges of those knives. A couple of little shiny spots. And uh, again, this white is uh, reduced like the black was, it's, it's heavily reduced. Just experiment with your reducing, and you'll get you'll get to know the mix that you're comfortable with working with. A lot of people don't like reducing it very much because it spiders quite badly. But um, but I um, I like that mix. I get along with it quite well. 
So we've added all the little shiny spots around the neck there and across the shoulders. Going in with a bit more yellow that I forgot to do before. Again, straight out of the bottle. You don't bother reducing that yellow. But be careful, like I say, it is a powerful paint. And it flows quite nicely. Uh, now we've got like a, a lightened sea blue or turquoise, whatever you want to call it going along the edges of the knives and the handles then I'm adding a grey to the handles and in a couple of places on the edges now I decided the handles needed to be a bit more blue when I looked at the original so uh, I then got the original sky blue that I did on the knives and uh, and I put that over the handles which I thought looked great then I, uh, I had a really really reduced white there um, I mean twice as much reducer as I normally use to add some real subtle highlights to the handles. And there we go. More soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.